Good evening. Welcome to Maysville tonight uh, for our midweek Bible study. Glad to see everyone out. Um, song of encouragement this evening will be number 347. 347. We have just a, a few notes to go through this evening. Uh, trying to get a few updates uh, from where we left off on Sunday. Uh, Devin Kenimer, we had mentioned, was hospitalized with an infection in his arm and uh, from a, a previous surgery he had several weeks ago. He's out of the hospital now. Uh, he will have a pick line uh, with antibiotics um, in him for the next four to six weeks. Uh, he is out of the hospital, though. Uh, is at home, so please uh, keep Devin and the Kenimer family on our prayer list right now. Um, Ray Renfro is also uh, resting, recovering. Uh, is, is feeling pretty rough right now, so please keep Renfro's on our prayer list. And um, uh, Lois Webster is also at home and uh, doing somewhat better, but still recovering. So the Webster's family also. And uh, we got just several individuals right now that just need our encouragement. Um, you make sure we we don't forget about those and, and send them cards, make phone calls, and let them know that we're thinking about them and they haven't been forgotten uh, as they're trying to recuperate right now. Uh, Fred Hastings also. A uh, former member here passed away on Sunday. Uh, his visitation will be Friday, 12 until 2, uh, with funeral following at the Armour Chapel. Uh, and again, it's Friday, 12 until 2. Uh, Child Haven note, uh, as we've been mentioning, the deadline was tonight with the gifts wrapped and tagged. Uh, the former plan was to actually leave uh, Sunday afternoon and take those to Child Haven. Uh, so pay very close attention. If you do not have your Child Haven gift here tonight, wrapped and tagged, uh, that Sunday plan has been altered to where those gifts will leave here tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. So if you're scrambling for your gift and it's not here, please make sure you see Patty Weaver to make those final arrangements because we're, we're hours away from that departure. Um, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, those gifts will be uh, no longer here. Uh, so please make sure that you talk to her if, uh, if that's not here. Um, again, the, uh, the clo dry, clothing drive that we're accumulating for the Community Outreach Day uh, this coming Saturday, uh, we are assembling things tonight in the Fellowship Hall, so if you can stay afterwards and uh, participate in that, uh, come back to the Fellowship Hall and you'll be directed on uh, what task you can do. Uh, again, that is this coming Saturday, two different events. Uh, in the morning, we've got our breakfast with Santa at 9 o'clock, so if you've got kids, bring them out, bring a breakfast dish. Uh, that's this coming um, if I said Sunday, I apologize, Saturday at 9 a.m. And um, following that at 12 o'clock, the, um, the bulletin had the notes on uh, the daily agenda for that afternoon with our community outreach program that's going on here that afternoon. Uh, so if you need any questions answered, uh, Greg Richard is coordinating that. And uh, just make a day and, and plan to be here most of the time on Saturday. And uh, we'll just we'll make a great day out of it. Uh, if you were unable to participate in the Child Haven uh, gifts this year, uh, we are also collecting some money for uh, food baskets for the village that we support in Honduras, uh, village of Mololoa. And um, gift baskets range about $25. You don't have to give $25, but if you can give some, great. Uh, we'll accumulate that together and see how many food baskets we can contribute to the families there. Uh, there will also be a teen slash college age Christmas party at Seth and Jill Bowen's home uh, this coming Sunday night after our evening worship and you're asked to bring drinks and desserts and a $10 gift for a Dirty Santa game. Now, the fruit baskets will also be prepared this coming Sunday afternoon, and if you're interested and can help participate in that, uh, they'll be uh, assembled and packaged up uh, at 3.30 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Uh, Mike Broad is coordinating that, so if you have any questions, talk to him. Uh, but if you can, make plans to be here at 3.30 Sunday afternoon uh, for the fruit basket uh, packaging. That'd be great. I think that's all the announcements I have. Uh, again, Song of Encouragement will be number 347. And Brother Ryan Smallwood, turn over to you. Closing prayer by Brother Johnny Wilder. Good evening. If you have your Bibles, we go ahead and turn to uh, Matthew 25. I'll be reading there in just a moment. Um, glad to see everybody out tonight. Uh, as we comes up on the holiday seasons I know that everyone's making plans to spend time and and go places with family and friends and and making plans for that I was thinking about uh last year um around Thanksgiving time I was uh 
also preparing for Thanksgiving, but also the, the birth of Hannah. And uh, one thing that, that was running through my mind a lot was about how I had no clue where I was going to be when, uh, when Hannah was born, because I worked um, for the chaplain at our base, and uh, we went a lot of different places. I didn't know if I you know, might be in Jacksonville or I might be in a secure area and I don't have cell phone access and nobody can call me or anything like that or you know, something really important to be going on. You know, I might even be watching a football game, which will be really bad to have a baby being born during a football game. I might have to mute it. So uh, I was thinking about that, and it got me thinking, you know, about what, what, what are we going to be doing when the Lord comes? You know, what do we want to be doing when the Lord comes? Do we want to be singing or praying? Do we want to be out visiting the sick or, or helping the poor? Or do we want to be in here in, in Bible study or, or personal Bible study? You know, what is it that you would want to be doing if you got a choice of what you were doing when the Lord comes? And it got me thinking, why aren't we doing those things more then? If that's what we would want to be doing. In Matthew 25, uh, Jesus tells uh, a parable here. Matthew 25, 1. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to the ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and they took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels and with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and they slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out and meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed the lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there be not enough for ourselves and for you, but rather go to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And they went to buy. The bridegroom came, and, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterwards, the other virgins also came along, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch, therefore, for you do not know neither the day nor the hour which the Son of Man is coming. You know, we, we really don't want to be caught scrambling when the Lord comes back. We don't want to be caught up in, in other things. You know, I mean, uh, I was joking about, about football earlier, but, you know, there's no football game that's important enough for me to spend time doing that as opposed to going and being with my wife and, and seeing my daughter being born. But do we allow some things like that to, to get in between us, sports or jobs, hobbies, anything like that? You know, if, if tonight you haven't been living in a way that would, that would match up with how you'd want to be living when the Lord comes, you know, we can fix that very easily tonight. You know, if you've never started your Christian walk, we can help you out right now. We can take your confession that Jesus Christ is the, the Son of God and you repent of your sins and you can be baptized tonight before we leave here. But maybe you haven't, you haven't been living as you should. You are a Christian, but you've, you've realized that, that in your life you're not living like you're ready for Christ to come back. Now, if there's any way we can help you, please come as we stand, as we sing. Jesus is calling, calling, calling. Jesus is calling today. Why should I?
55, 55 will be our closing song this evening. Fifty-five will do the first and the last stanzas, please. <clears> then <throat> have our closing prayer. <clears throat> beyond this land of parting, living and living far beyond the losses, darkened in this land, far beyond the taking. Father in heaven, we're so thankful for the day and for the many blessings of life that you richly bless us with. We're so thankful for the opportunity you've given us where we can come and study thy word, learn, learn more how we should live. We pray, Father, that this time that you'll be with the ones that have been mentioned sick. We pray, Father, that you'll bless them and help them regain their health. Father, we pray now that you forgive us our sins and bring us back to the next point of time. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. <clears throat>